everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the alternate stitch. This is a variation of the single crochet stitch and it's uh, comprised of groups of two single crochet stitches uh, that are worked into their stitches below. As you can see it creates a nice solid fabric. The fabric is similar on both sides so this would be a great stitch for your blankets uh, and uh, even washcloths but also for other things such as bags, scarves and other wearables. So thank you so much for joining me. Feel free to let me know how you would use this alternate stitch in the comments below and uh, thank you so much for stopping by. While you're here I invite you to take a look around and uh, check out some of the other videos there and don't forget to subscribe. Today in this tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll find information for both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description of this video you will find a direct link to the free written crochet pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's grab our hooks and our yarn and learn how to crochet this alternate stitch. This is a wonderful easy crochet stitch to work. It is a simple one row repeat once you get it set up and going. Today we're going to work this stitch in rows. So start by making your slip knot. And then we're going to make a foundation chain and your foundation chain can be any odd number of stitches. I'm going to be chaining a total of 21. There's 10, 15, 20, and 21. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to start by working into the third chain from your hook. So count in 1, 2, 3. And into that third chain, you're going to work two single crochet stitches. So one stitch and two both working into the same chain. Skip the next chain and work two single crochet stitches into the next. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next chain and work two single crochet stitches into the next stitch all the way to your final chain where you will work your final two stitches. At the end of row one you're going to chain two and turn your work. For row two you're going to skip this first stitch at the base of your turning chain and work two single crochet stitches into the next stitch. Skip the next single crochet and work two single crochet stitches into the next. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two, skip the next stitch and work two single crochet into the next. So repeat that all the way across to your final single crochet stitch and then work your final two stitches into that single crochet stitch. In these rows and for each row afterward you will not work into that chain two turning chain. You're always going to leave it. So I'm just coming here to my final stitch, single crochet stitch here, and then there is a chain two there at the beginning, but I'm going to leave it unworked. At the end of row two, chain two, and turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat that row two. Skip the stitch at the base of your foundation chain, and work two single crochet stitches 
into the next stitch, skip the next stitch, and work two single crochets into the next. Repeat that all the way across, working your final two single crochet stitches into that final single crochet stitch, skip that turning chain, chain two, and turn your work. And that's all there is to working the alternate stitch. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again I invite you to subscribe and uh, as well I look forward to seeing you next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting! Bye!